Cryptocurrency is a topic you hear about more and more. It seems to be everywhere these days. Friends might talk about Bitcoin or other digital coins. Perhaps you have seen stories of people making or losing fortunes. This constant buzz makes many people curious. They wonder what this new form of money is all about. Its growing popularity is hard to ignore. But cryptocurrency is much more than just hype or a trending topic. It represents a significant technological innovation. It has the potential to change many aspects of our financial world. Some believe it can make financial systems more open. Others see it as a new way to store value, like digital gold. This technology offers new possibilities for transactions and investments. It challenges the traditional ways money has always worked. More and more ordinary people are getting involved. They are learning about it, buying small amounts or even using it for purchases. So why does all of this matter right now in 2025 we live in an increasingly digital age? So, what exactly is cryptocurrency? Think of it as digital money. It is a type of currency that exists only in electronic form. You cannot hold a Bitcoin in your hand like a traditional coin or paper bill. Instead, it uses something called cryptography. This is a very strong form of coding. Cryptography keeps the transactions secure and controls the creation of new units. How does cryptocurrency differ from the money issued by governments like dollars or euros? The most significant difference is decentralization. Traditional currencies are usually controlled by a central bank or a government. Cryptocurrencies on the other hand, are typically not controlled by any single entity. They operate on a distributed network of computers. The technology that makes most cryptocurrencies possible is called the blockchain. Imagine a digital ledger or a record book that is shared among many computers. Every time a transaction happens, it gets recorded as a block of information. Sending and receiving cryptocurrency is a bit like sending digital cash directly to another person. This is often called a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. It means you do not necessarily need a bank or a payment processor in the middle. If you want to send Bitcoin to a friend, you can do it directly from your digital wallet to theirs. The transaction is broadcast to the cryptocurrency's network. Computers on the network then work to confirm that the transaction is valid. To use cryptocurrency, you need a digital wallet. This is not a physical wallet but rather a software program or a hardware device. It stores your public and private keys. Your public key is like your bank account number. It creates an address that you can share with others to receive funds. Your private key is like your secret password or PIN. It proves you own the cryptocurrency linked to your public address and is used to authorize transactions. Section 4. The King and its Court. Bitcoin and the world of altcoins. Bitcoin holds a special place in the world of cryptocurrency. It was the very first one, created in 2009 by an unknown person or group using the name Satoshi Nakamoto. Because it was first, it is the most well-known and often the most valuable cryptocurrency. Many people refer to Bitcoin as digital gold because like gold, there is a limited supply of it. Only 21 million Bitcoins will ever be created. This scarcity is a key part of its design and perceived value. The importance of Bitcoin cannot be overstated. It proved that a decentralized digital currency could actually work. It showed that it was possible to create digital scarcity, something that was difficult before. People could send and receive value across the internet without needing a traditional bank. This was a revolutionary idea. Bitcoin also introduced the world to blockchain technology, which has since found uses in many other industries beyond just currency. After Bitcoin, many other cryptocurrencies were created. These are often called altcoins, which is short for alternative coins. Section 5. Riding the Wave. The Thrills and Spills of Crypto Investing. Many people are attracted to cryptocurrency as an investment. One of the main reasons is the potential for high returns. The prices of some cryptocurrencies have increased dramatically in relatively short periods. This has led to stories of significant profits. The excitement of being part of a new and innovative technology also draws investors. They see it as an opportunity to get in on the ground floor of something that could be transformative. However, this potential for reward comes with significant considerations that every prospective investor must carefully evaluate before committing funds. A major advantage often cited for cryptocurrencies is their decentralized nature. As mentioned earlier, they are not typically controlled by governments or banks. This can mean more control over your own assets. For people in countries with unstable financial systems or strict capital controls, 
cryptocurrency can offer an alternative. It can also provide access to financial services for people who do not have bank accounts, often referred to as the unbanked. However, investing in cryptocurrency also comes with significant risks. The most notable risk is volatility. Section 6. The next chapter. What does the future hold for digital money? Cryptocurrency is a new form of digital money. Secured by cryptography, it operates on a decentralized blockchain. This allows peer-to-peer -peer transactions without intermediaries. Digital wallets store crypto, mining confirms transactions, and exchanges act as marketplaces. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency, followed by many altcoins. Investing offers rewards, but carries risks. Adoption is growing worldwide. More businesses accept them as payment, used for international transfers, online purchases, and as a store of value. Financial institutions are exploring digital assets. Cryptocurrencies are becoming mainstream. Challenges remain for widespread adoption. Regulatory uncertainty is significant. Governments are figuring out regulation, creating unpredictability. Scalability issues cause slow transactions and high fees.